Hello friends, in this video, let's quickly talk about what is Jupyter Notebook and why we need a Jupyter Notebook and how to do the installation. <coughs> See, as per my understanding, we do use Jupyter Notebook for all the Python projects implementation. Is there any other way of doing the Python project implementation apart from Jupyter Notebook? Yes, we do have. I can use direct Python IDLE or I can use these IDEs as well. <coughs> See, we will talk about like a, what is Python and what is the purpose of the Python and how to work with a plain Python and there are a couple of videos are there. I'm leaving in the cards as well as description. Please go through that if required. So now let's concentrate more on why we need to go for Jupyter. <coughs> See, as I told you, Jupyter is an IDE, is an IDE to develop the Python applications, to implement the Python projects. First of all, what is IDE? <coughs> IDE is nothing but integrated development development environment is there only IDE to develop the Python applications no we have multiple IDEs to develop the Python applications or Python projects see I have on its own Python having its own IDLE to develop the Python applications or to implement the Python applications. Next, the one more ID is Jupyter, which helps us to implement the Python projects in a bit easier manner, bit easier manner. Next one is I have a spider IDE. This also helps us to do the Python projects implementation. Spider integrated development environment. I'll get a window where I can write a Python projects. So let me quickly show you here how to open a Python IDLE and then I'll go to Jupyter and Spider. So hope you know that how to open a Python IDLE. So we already covered in multiple sessions. So let's go to quickly programs and you will see Python IDLE. See, I have plain Python installed on my machine. Okay, so I have a 3.7.4, which is a recent version, which is running in the market. It got released on July 8, 2019. So I, I showed you how to write um, uh, modules or programs by using Python native IDLE. So I can directly do this. See here, if you really see this, it looks like a plain window. Okay, so but if I use, this is a Python IDLE, which I'm showing you. Okay. So we, here also I can write Python applications. Here also I can develop Python projects. Then why we need Jupyter IDE? So I'll show you a bit. Like let us say I want to show. So bit hello world. Let me show you that hello world. Print of um, hello world. See here to execute this. See I have a single statement. I can directly execute even directly here itself even here also but if I have a block of statements then better I need a so module or something like that to execute or to save it okay to execute this I need to save this somewhere let's save this I have a three print statements that's it it's a very straightforward statement okay I'm just keeping as J just to save it then only I can run it so you can directly use F5 to run it it will show you the statements here three so here I am developing here here I am writing like a block of statements. Here I am seeing the output at the bottom. Means I need two places like I need two <coughs> windows to run a block of statements. If you have a single line of statement, then it is very straightforward. You can directly use right here. Even you, you can write a block of statements in this window also. Here also you can write it in the direct uh, Python 3.7.4 shell. Okay, so rather than writing here, you can directly write here. But here you can save it and you can um, uh, you can maintain very easily rather than writing here 
ओके सो दिस इज अ प्लेन पाइथन आईडीएलई वी कैन कॉल इट आल्सो आल्सो आईडी बट पाइथन इट्स सेल्फ सेज दैट इट्स आईडीएलई सो आफ्टर दैट लाइक आई देन व्हाट इज एडवांटेज आई गेट इफ आई गो विद जुपिटर आईडी यस आई विल शो यू इट इट रियली हेल्प्स अ डेवलपर टू डू अ फास्टर डेवलपमेंट and inbuilt libraries we have some so we can make use of that and this is one of the uh, best ide to develop the python applications the last spider we have still even many people are using still using spider yes even it is also very good then how to do the this is all about introduction of jupiter so what is the purpose of uh, jupiter and where exactly we use jupiter then how to do the installation see jupiter installation we can do in two ways so one with conda the other one with pip <coughs> what is conda so see we have a, a some navigator we have a some uh, like a uh, like a tool we have a some um, a distribution distributor so where we have all this pi uh, spider and jupiter ideally itself so from that is that is nothing but a conda so we means like a, this we comes from a anaconda so once you installed anaconda navigator so by default you will get spider you will get a jupiter along with these two you will get some more so means this this required bit more space because it's a combination of spider ide and jupiter ide and some more visual studio code ide as well then the next one is pip I'll show you a pip uh, method now. In the next, I'll I'll show you the conda one. So pip, how the pip works? So as I told you, I already have a basic Python installed. So basic Python installed on my machine. On my machine or my server. After that, so I need I can use directly pip to install the uh, Jupyter in my machine. So then simply. Let's quickly go to the uh, command prompt and see. So, what is the version you have in your uh, Python? So, let's quickly go here. So, better to go to the uh, run as administrator. Simply go run as administrator. Yeah. Yes. Now here here. So, let's use the pip or Python. First of all, is Python is installed or not? Python version. Let's click it. Yes, Python 3.7.4 is installed on my machine. It's good now. So then, how to install uh, Jupyter here? So simply type pip. Okay, install. Install Jupyter Lab. Enter it. So it takes a while. It takes a while to install the Jupyter Lab on your machine. so please bear with me uh, for a moment to complete the installation yes so the installation is done because i already did um, installation uh, for testing purpose that is the reason why it showing requirement already satisfied and all so here you you will get some message you are uh, using the pip version 19.0.3 however version 19.2.3 is available you should consider upgrading via python this one if you do it your pip version also will upgrades so that's fine now now the conclusion is i have jupiter installed on my machine so by simply i just need to run this command whatever the command which i ran it i'll just type it again it's yes, whatever the command i ran it pip install jupiter lab it installs a jupiter on your machine because i just uh, i ran the command earlier just to test it it got installed that's the reason why it finished very quickly for me <coughs> so now then how to start jupiter here from where i i need to start so can i see in the start programs here jupiter let me type it i don't have anything so i don't have anything here to see so this is a, a python program actually <coughs> i don't have anything to see here then how to open it i cannot open from start here okay if you go the installation with a um, uh, like a conda anaconda then you will get a place where you can start it then how to start when i don't have a anaconda so here simply in the command prompt type jupiter 
Jupyter Notebook. Enter it. Yeah, simply to start a Jupiter. So I, I, I gave a little wrong uh, spelling. So let's correct this instead of JY, JU. Jupiter notebook, just type the Jupiter notebook, enter it. Just wait for a, a while. You get a so browser. Let me start again if you want. Yeah, it, it's opening browser. Yes. Do you see this? If you really see this, you get a page where you can see some Jupyter. You can see the local host all four eight slash three. You will be seeing some files here. This is how we see it. Okay. So now if you really see this running files and clusters, this is the first time I'm opening. That is the reason why I don't have anything. Now how to start a Jupyter program. So let's go to in the extreme right side. You have a new option. Let's go to the new. it got struck so let me stop again and start again otherwise let me come here let me quickly go to again yes now let's write J U P right here Jupiter yes let's quickly wait for a, a while yes it opened a Jupiter window Yes, now let's go to new click on python 3 you can you can create a text file folder and terminal i just clicked on python 3 it's taking a while to run it yeah now it's opening a page if you see this untitled uh, blank page it got opened it should open a python 3 page let me click on it Once you click on new, you will get a, a page like this. So if you really see this, we do work uh, a Jupyter development in the browsers only. See here by default, like it opened a, a page with the name of untitled. You can change the name. Sample and click on rename and you can simply do whatever you want. So print. hello so that's how let's how to see the output of it to see the output of it you need to type shift enter then it will come as output if the things are coming outside of the box is nothing but output if you simply enter the same thing let me copy and paste here so I'm simply entering the enter it means that it is going to the next line it won't give you the output if you want to see the output of the uh, statement which you already prepared then type shift and enter then you will get the output so that's how we do install the jupiter and a machine and that's how we start the jupiter for the first time in the next video we go bit detail and understand what exactly we can do with uh, jupiter and what are the advantages i do get if i go other than python ideally and we will talk about how to install the Jupyter by using Anaconda as well sometime. That's it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more technical videos. Thank you.